combination. A combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangement in a collection of objects where the order of arrangement is not important. So, ang combination ay halos katulad lang din ng permutation since you're going to take some items out of a given collection of objects. But here, order is not important. Actually, in combinations, you can select the items in any order. Okay? Other examples of this as given in our previous video lesson. Now, for the formula of the combination, we have C and R. How to read this? That is, combination of n objects taken r at a time. So, combination of n objects taken r at a time. That is, that is equal to the permutation divided by r factorial or n factorial divided by the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial. If you notice, this part of the formula is the formula for the permutation. So, ibig sabihin, kung alam natin ang number of permutation ng ating given objects or situation, we may use this. Didivide lang natin sa R factorial. Pero kung wala tayong value ng ating permutation, we can use this formula. Okay. Now, gawa muna tayo ng counting recall dun sa ating permutation para mas mabilis. Okay, try natin ang ating counting recall. I have here some examples. So, ang permutation formula natin ay n factorial over n minus r factorial. As stated in our previous lesson. So, if you have 8 taken 3 here, it will be 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial. And this is 8 factorial over, what is 8 minus 3? That is 5. So, 5 factorial. So, it will be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. I will stop with 5, five factorial. Kasi, yung denominator ko ay 5 factorial. At mga cancel din naman siya. So, cancel ito. And leaving us with 8 times 7 times 6. Pwede na mag-calculator. 8 times 7 times 6. And the answer is, 336. So, this is 336. Now, ano yung shortcut? Shortcut, balikan natin tong problem. Itong problem natin. Meron tayong number 8 as our n and we will take 3. 3 ang r. So, parang i-multiply lang natin yung 8 sa mga numbers na mas mababa sa kanya hanggang pangatlong number. So, number next to 8 is 7. Next to that is 6. I will stop with 6. Kasi sabi 3 lang. So, 1, 2, 3. There are 3 numbers. 8, 7, and 6. And then, I will multiply this. And this will be 336. I hope you realize that this is the same with this. So, hindi na natin dinaanan yung proseso na to. Dumerecho tayo dito. Now, in the next examples, gawin natin yung shortcut. So, you have... Permutation of 6 taken 4 at a time. So, that would be a pat na number from 6. So, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Paba. 6, 5, 4, 3. Ilan na to? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Because our R is 4. Then, multiply. So, we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Tatlo, apat. Equals, the answer is 300. 60. Tapos na. Another one. 10 taken 2. So, this will be 10. What's next? 10. That's 9. Dalawa lang kasi R natin ay 2. So, 1 and 2. 10 times 9 is 90. So, ganun lang kadali makuha ang permutation dun sa ating shortcut. Now, I hope that would be useful in our discussion for this one. And so let's have this combination of 7 taken 3 at a time. So if we use this formula, ipa ito o yung formula, that would be n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay, now substitute tayo. 7 is our n. 
7 minus 3, because 3 is our R, and then times 3 factor. Yeah. So, moving on, it, it will be 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3. That is 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Let me continue. This will be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. I will stop with 4, 4 factorial kasi may 4 factorial ako doon sa baba. Okay. Kinopya ko na siya doon. Tinabi ko doon para madaling cancel. Then you have 3 here. So, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So, let's proceed to the calculations. This will be cancelled. 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial is 1. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. Tapos 2 divided by 2 is 1. I was left with 7, 1, and 5. 7 times 1 times 5 is equals to 35. So, 35 is the answer. Now, subuan natin gamitin yung shortcut ng permutation sa ating combination problem. So, we have here combination of 7 taken 3. So, gamitin kong formula ito. Permutation of n taken r over r factorial. So, yung permutation, yung shortcut ang gagamitin ko. I will get 7 I will take 3 from 7. So, that's 7 times 6 times 5. That law. Isa, dalawa, that law. Divided by R factorial, which is 3 factorial. So, that is 3 times 2 times 1. And then, solve as it is. So, 6 divided by 3, 2. 2, 2 divided by 2, 1. So, I was left with 7, 1, and 5. And again, my answer is... 35. So, as you can see, para ako nag-jump, nag, nag, um, shortcut, diretso na ako sa computation na to. So, I will get same answer. So, let's do this method in the next example. Let's have 9 taken 4. Combination of 9 taken 4. So, in this problem, again, uh, let me use this formula. So, 9 taken 4 is a permutation. So, we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. I will stop with 6. Kasi isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. 4 na to. 4 lang naman ang kailangan ko. Divided by R is 4. So, 4 factorial tayo. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then, let me compute. Of course, pwede kayo mag-multiply. Mag multiply tapos divide. What I'm doing here is I'm canceling whatever is to be canceled. So I have here 8 and 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And I can still cancel 2 and 2. So 1 na lang matitira. And then 9 and 3, pwede pa. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So ano na lang na I 1? I have 3, 1, 7, and 6. So dyan ako pwede mag-calculator na. So, I have 3 times 1 times 7 times 6. The answer is 126. So the answer here is 126. Okay, so that's it. Now, let's move on to the next example. Number 3 here is divided into 3. A, B, C. Okay, let's see why. Okay, so dito, combination of 7 taken 7. So, this will be combination of 7 taken 7. Nagamitin ko na yung shortcut natin kanina. So, this will be equals to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Divided by R factorial. Diba? Yung formula natin. So, that's 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. As you can see, mga cancel yan lahat. Okay? And the answer here is 1. Kasi pag dinivide mo to, dito ang sagot ay 1. Therefore, if your n and your r, n and r are equal, so combination of n, tick, and n, even without computation, the combination is equals to 
1. So next time that you see combination of 6 taken 6, ang sagot dyan ay 1. Kapag naitaan ang combination of 100, taken 100, the answer is still 1. So dahil yan dito. Next, let's have letter B. We have combination of 7, taken 1. So you have... Gamitin ko ulit yung shortcut na formula natin kanina. This will be 7. Wala nang kasama. Kasi 1 lang daw, di ba? Isa lang ang R. So 1. Wala na siyang kasama. And then 1 ang denominator. So 1 factorial is still 1. 7 divided by 1 is 7. Therefore, combination of N taken 1, kahit ano pa yung N, basta 1 ang R, the answer is the value of N. So, halimbawa, combination of 10 taken 1. Even without computation, the, the answer here is 10. Kasi 10 yung N. If you are looking for combination of, let's say, 20 taken 1, 1 ang R, so ang ating combination ay yung value ng N. In this case, it is 20. See? And for letter C, we have 7 taken 6. So, in this case, we have combination of 7 taken 6. Again, in shortcut tayo. Anim daw from 7. So, we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Anim na ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Divided by 6 factorial. So, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Tapos, you can see that this will be cancelled out. Matitira na lang ay 1 din. So, 7 ang ating magiging sagot. Answer here is 7. Therefore, kapag ang R ay less than 1 from the 7, so N minus 1 yung R, our value is also our N. So, okay, dito, 7 at 6, magkasunod na number yan. So, our combination is the N, which is 7. So, example, combination of 8 taken 7. Magkasunod yung 8 at 7, right? So, even without computation, the answer here is 8. Let's say combination of 20 taken 19. So, magkasunod yung dalawang number na yan. So, therefore, the answer here is N, which is 20. Find R if combination of 9 taken R is equals to 84. So, in this problem, ang hahanapin natin ay ang R. So, in this case, we shall be applying trial and error. Okay. Take note that this is the shortest way to find the combination. Itong formula na to. So, let's try number 1. Trial number 1. Let's say R is equals to R is equals to 2. So it will be combination of 9 taken 2. And with this applying the formula, it will be permutation of 9 taken 2 all over 2 factorial. And it will be 9 taken 2 dalawa lang. So 9 times 8. Divided by 2 factorial, so 2 times 1. So, we can divide 8 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, 9 times 4 is 36. This is not the not equal to 84. This is not the answer. So, let's have another one, another try. Try number 2, let's take 3. Since mas mababa siya, kailangan natin mas mataas pa. So, R is equals to 3. So, this will be combination of 9 taken 3. This time, magiging permutation of 3, 9 taken 3 over 3 factorial. So, solve tayo. 9 times 8 times 7. Again, tatlo lang kasi 3 ang R. Divided by 3 factorial. Okay, now cancel out kung meron. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 
4. So, 3 times 4 times 7 ang naiwan. Pwede mag-calculator. 3 times 4 times 7. The answer is 84. So, this is the answer. Since naging 84 tayo dito, therefore, our answer, our R is 3. Now, next example. Find N if combination of N taken 3 is equals to 20. In this case, ang nahanap natin ay N. So, again, trial and error tayo. Let's first try is N is equals to 5. Try natin ang 5. It will be combination of 5 taken 3. Pinapalit ko yung N 5. Pinapalit ko na ang 5. So, this will lead you to permutation of 5 taken 3 over 2 factorial. So, this will be tatlo daw. So, mula sa 5, 4, 3. Tatlo. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Divided by, so it's 3 factorial. Divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So, this will be cancelled. 5 divided by, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 5 times 2 is 10. So, again, this is not equal to 20. So, this is incorrect. Another try, try number 2. So, masababa siya, at dahil ng isa pa, n is equals to 6. So, combination of 6 taken 3. So, permutation of 6 taken 3 over 3 factorial. I'm just substituting it into our formula. So, this will be 6 times 5 times 4. Tatlo lang kasi 3 ang ating R. 3 times 2 times 1. Cancel this out. Cancel and then cancel. And E1, 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Therefore, this is correct kasi pareho na siya dito. Therefore, our N is 6. This is our answer. That's it. Finding N or R using the triad and error method. Thank you for watching. Please watch the next video lesson on the description below for more examples on combinations. Happy learning!